welcome back to cad cam tutorial today we are going to design a simple plastic fork it is day to day life we are using in day to day life i hope you like it so let's see how to do in solid works by parts now let's start here choose front plane a sketch select a line and start from origin point draw a horizontal line then little taper exit now let's define this dimension 108 mm and this one uh, we will prefer 3.5 mm select 4 mm and height make 5 mm and let's make this gap 1 mm now this geometry is defined so choose again convert it and make a arc then again convert it and connect with this point exit now extend this construction line again choose a construction line and draw a construction line from the tangent point draw a horizontal line the same as we have to select here we have to find the this is the point now this tangent line select this tangent okay now let's define this gap 3 mm okay <laughs> it should be like this let's make 1 mm and rotate position now define the distance from outer line 147 mm now 0.5 mm this gap only now we will do one thing just delete this relation and delete this line also eight point three mm okay uh, maybe it is by default delete this by default S delete this relation this arc now you can move here and there see now let's keep 3 mm only that's it so this is your requirement 21 okay now the geometry is fully defined so select extruded boss choose mid plane 30 mm select okay now select top plane a sketch normal first draw a center line select here corner rectangle and draw a rectangle exit select these three lines and we will make a relation symmetric okay 
now let's define 40 mm and the distance from here to origin point 105 mm and from another end 55 mm okay choose a line connect from here up to here must be tapered then go back to the this points point and it will automatically convert again come back to this point and it will automatically convert an arc now connect with this point and up to this point try to mirror select this created points and mirror about this line okay now let's define it four mm keep six mm radius twelve mm let's say this gap twenty three point five mm seventeen mm keep radius twenty mm okay choose trim entities and trim here okay again choose the smart dimension and define this distance from here it must be 100 mm see here they defined 100 mm and this distance okay 29.5 mm now the geometry is fully defined select extruded cut see make degree 6 through all choose direction 1 10 mm 0 degree select ok now again choose top plane sketch normal select here center line and draw a center line choose a line convert it a half circle and connect this let's make this 5 mm radius keep 0.5 mm select the center point and this line coincide 
select these three lines and make relation symmetric now choose dimension from here to center point it must be 30 mm for our requirement okay again draw a one center line let's define this gap 3 mm select mirror entity mirror about this line select ok now again choose mirror mirror about center line ok now these three things we want to cut here from here select extruded cut choose here through all ok now see we will edit this section ok so edit this extruded cut go to direction 1 select through all ok now you can see it here if shape is created so select fillet select these two edges 2 mm radius ok again choose fillet and this time keep 0.5 mm select this face ok that's now uh, we will let's try to add do something here I think it's also not best idea. Make it twenty five mm. Select OK. OK, this is looking quite better. Now we want to make a hollow from bo bottom side. So go to features and select shell command. 0.45 select this bottom faces. Okay. Now you can see it becomes hollow. Now this portion we want to cut it. So select front plane sketch normal. Find out here 2D dimension. select three point arc let us start this midpoint up to here ok now let's define this radius 54 by 2 mm ok select offset entity keep 5 mm select this line reverse direction ok now connect it both the direction you must be find 5 mm ok now select 
extruded cut keep mid plane select 17.5 mm see it's going to cut this bottom faces now you can see here choose fillet 20 mm and select this edges 10 mm 20 is quite bigger Fifteen also better. Okay. Sweep. Point five mm. Okay. it also become sharp here you can see now select this edge this all become 0.2 okay see this all edges become 0.2 mm now the same you can choose bottom also I think the last one just delete. So this is the our beautiful plastic fork. It is widely used in the world and day-to-day -day activities and day-to-day -day life. We will assign some color so it will identify. Go to plastic, high gloss plastic. Let's say yellow gloss. So this is the beautiful plastic I hope you like it please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in solidworks thanks for watching